Hello guys and welcome back to another campaign start here on the channel. Today we are playing Ramses here in Tolwar Pharaoh. I am the rising dawn. The rising dawn, yeah. Starting position easy and recommended faction for new players. And we are kind of new, but we are not going to make this campaign an easy one because we are going to do it this is Total War style, of course. So Declaring war on every faction the first turn, we encounter them and never negotiate a peace treaty. We are playing the game on legendary difficulty. Uh, the max difficulty for battles is veteran. Let's fulfill our destiny. I am Menepta. No, I am the great Pharaoh Menepta. Ten years ago, I inherited the throne in the shadow of my father. The strong bull, the protector of Egypt, the chosen of Ra and beloved of Amun, the mighty pharaoh, Ramses the second. Egypt has flourished throughout my reign, but now I sense the eyes of Set upon me, and dark times are coming. What will happen to my kingdom after my soul slips into the eternal lands of the afterlife? When my father ramp Let's skip this one and let's skip this one as well. We are going to go through everything as we go along, but if you want to have a Quick overview, I have made a video about this for every faction, so you can Destiny check them out if you want to. And I am compelled so, to Ramses, we are starting here, let's zoom out a bit, in North Sinai. And we have the Great Pharaoh of Merneptah right beside us. And as you can tell by the intro, he is going to die sooner or later. And we also have Seti to the south, another notable character. Not in vision, but both Bay and Irisu from the Canaanite factions are pretty close by. But same could be said about a couple of others. 
but we have uh, a lot of potential or to become enemies around us but let's let's uh, jump straight into Blessed action by the gods and go with our first fight this is of course a, a pretty easy fight but if you don't watch yourself you can get the close victory we definitely need a decisive one here so let's try to achieve that weather conditions current weather sweltering forecast sandstorm let's try to wait this one out for a bit yep same thing one more try ah we're starting in sandstorm range this is interesting because we are reliant on our archers here and this reduces our range so what we need to do forecast sweltering oh well it is what it is could we endure it could take the high ground here instead this uh completely kind of messes up my plans here but this is the interesting part at the same time oh, let's just do it like this and before we press start remember guys to leave that like to support this video and subscribe to support the channel but not only are you supporting this channel by subscribing you're also and watching the ads and all of that stuff you're also helping the good cause uh, uh, the revenue is going towards my charity project this is total war for suicide zero as an organization that works for suicide prevention so with that being said let's begin same thing could be said about them though the habiru archers they have two of them and Two militia and the general. Let's take done. initiative. We want to have we want to have and keep the high ground. But speed is of course being affected. Looks like they are going to reach us first. into position yeah and you guys need to be infantry moving want to have you on the side you savages. go 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 we're saving the medjay let's get rid of that still popping up i haven't really sold this uh and I should probably thank CA for giving me a bit of early access to Tolor Pharaoh here. I've been able to make myself a bit acquainted with the game. Still early in, still early in, about 20 hours or so. And most of that time I've been spent looking at the screens, basically. The sand is getting everywhere! Well, our beautiful archers, you two, going to need to confront them. Send the Medjays forward. Okay, this is getting rather messy. See if we could go forward and harass them a bit. Ready to load. On the march. Put these savages down. For glory. Bows, release. I will be legend. Remacy. Lumps. I never miss. Now, get you back. Soldiers, move. Strike through. You go through, you go and help him. Go, 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 go. Target their wounds. Always ready. Now you start killing him. Yeah, you definitely you need to go and feet. chase him. On the march. Go through, go through, go through. Infantry moving. 
You're not firing properly. Why is that? Marching on. Incoming. Okay, okay. No. Now we're dropping him. We need to drop Hanno as quickly as possible. But this turned out a bit different. Now we are firing at him nicely. Nope. We should be firing at him. Come on. What are you doing? Can't fire on him instead. He's waving now. He's waving. Broken. Good stuff. Now. Turn around. Turn around. Go, 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 go. Meiji Warriors. 96 left. That's fine. Charged him down. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah, and that's victory, right? Perfect. Now let's uh, chase these guys down, get Ramses some experience, and I'll meet you back on the campaign map. So we did our job. I was fated to win. Getting the decisive victory. So now we can actually treat ourselves and grab the extra food. Only lost 216 men. Spread word of my might. Spread word of my might. My ambition is Ranked rewarded. up first. Uh, completely so let's uh, grab the vanguard deployment which gives us uh, recruitment rank plus two and the vanguard deployment of course so let's uh, reduce the upkeep with one point we are currently at minus six percent we want to work this up as much as possible as quickly as possible destiny calls me destiny calls to you for proceed to Sukkot which is the next city in Canaan line in our quest to unify North Sinai. And uh, this is a similar stack. No, no it, actually, actually not. Habiru Raiders, more damage dealers, so we need to be a bit more careful. Probably going to take more losses. And I think they are going to sally out against us, but let's see. The Otter Soul predicts a close victory. We want yet another decisive one. And this time we are starting with sweltering weather, increased fatigue buildup from actions. Forecast, no changes. So let's deploy. That's okay. And actually, what shortly after partner. we won the last fight, the weather started to change. So it. And initially, it actually feels like weather is going to play a part. you on the flank and i know why you weren't firing Strength the previous power. fight because i still had you in skirmish mode turn that off turn that off Spill blood. Your face Come together, man. start to fight Eager start moving but march don't want to run farmers. reminding us the weather is sweltering, so we are going to get fatigued more quickly. Abiru Raiders, yeah. This is the perfect day for they place. are running. But in a short fight like this, it's uh, probably not going to make uh, that big of a difference. Infantry moving! Soldiers move! Destroy them! On the march. Give them a volley. Shoot them down. Move us one. That's the Peter Raiders. Now you fire at them. Good stuff. You attack. You attack. And you are going to go down. Valhano. Get rid of these archers. For glory. You get rid of them. Nope, not you, not you, not you, not you. What damage? 
Now retreat. And I realize. Go, 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 go. Shit, 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 shit. We need you. We need you. Sons of Egypt. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Infantry moving. On the march. I'll make them stop. Perfect. And now you fire at them. Do you talk because you fear to fight? Entering the fight with Valhano a bit too late, so we're going to take more losses than necessary, but he stopped dropping fairly quickly now. He's dropping fairly quickly, shaking, 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 as long as he... Now, let's switch target. As he's broken. How about our Medjay warriors? Uh, Shattered, that's good. Oh, they're actually breaking. This is not great. They're breaking, wavering. Yeah, gone, gone, gone. Victory. Yep, definitely took more losses than I would have liked. Still the size of victory, but we lost 354. So, yes, a bit more than I would have liked. We are only going to occupy this settlement. I have earned this city. Yeah, My sacred land is Sukkot in North Sinai. Mount Gade, reinforced chariot. Cool stuff. And weapon gained. That doesn't. Uh, we can have Destiny a look. We ranked me, up again. And I am compelled to so answer. now, Ramses has a chariot. That's very nice. We want to keep the bow. We want to keep the common light armor, and we want to improve presence and reduce the upkeep by another two percent. Egypt's glory. Egypt's glory. Become part of my legend. How many turns until they are replenished? Four turns. Five turns, yeah. Let's start by grabbing I two Habil militia. We can only recruit I two at a time. The to my because course. the next turn, we're going to go straight for Asati. That's the idea. And then potentially go up to Ashkelon and sack the city, depending on the situation. But uh, that's the goal. Ramesses. As for royal decrees, we are starting off with the life of a soldier to go and grab that XP for our army. We want to get that up fairly quickly. Then we are probably going to for longer festivals to improve the, the, um, the happiness. But then we are going to go along this line right here, granting reduction in upkeep for the army. But start with that one. Start with that one. Diplomacy, yeah, we will get their victory objectives. I'm guessing we are aiming for the ultimate victory. But firstly, we need to make sure we can survive. That's far from certain because I've done a pre-playthrough and just a few turns in, it's going to get ugly in here. So we need to be, we need to brace ourselves. Right then, so we need to reshape this a bit. Firstly, we want to start building uh, up the cities. So Sukkot it is. And then let's actually get rid of the wood cutting yard to... It's only plus 30 in wood. We are at plus 120. And wood is not a large issue. And we get one workforce back from it. A bit of stone and a bit of wood as well, but... Mainly, I want the workforce. That's what we need to improve early on. The rest of this stuff is... Uh, we're going to keep it. Yeah, the shirt. And that's the only javelin units we can get this early on. And, of course, we want to keep the wheat fields for the food. And workforce growth. So, what was the other building I was after? We can build the Temple of Ra, but that's two to workforce. We want to have at least one more to be, so we can start building the next city up. 
as quickly as possible. Nickel, uh, though. Got the bronze, yep, yeah. and the bronze furnace. What we want is here, the water well. We want to boost the workforce growth as much as possible. Um, right here. But we need to sell with that because we only have one workforce left and we want to save that to, so we can build up a sati. But we have a lot of outposts as well. And we have a fair bit of stone. They cost a fair bit of stone. I mean 200. All involves almost all except the religious one. But we can start here in Nekel. We have a shrine of Ra to the south. We have the Egyptian way station right here. I don't think we want that. Interacting with an outpost will refund 50%. Uh, yep. So let's uh, dismantle that one. And to the west. Yeah. We want to strengthen the garrison in Nekel. So let's... Uh, we can go for the Egyptian fort for to reduce the upkeep of units stationed here. Or we can go for this one, the lookout pulse, which gives us three units in the garrison directly. Short term, I think that's the way to go. That would likely be destroyed uh, later on, but that's a different question. We can't... We need to still try to do our best. Here, though, in Sukkot, we have two places. And this one, I want to have that as an economic or a trading outpost. Because if we interact with this, we will get... I think it's minus 20% reduced upkeep. So having a trading outpost stationed somewhere strategically, which is in the park because we are likely to be moving a bit back and forth here so having this one in the middle uh, makes sense to the left we need some defense capability here as well even though i would like to go for the shrine of ra here as well because because of that um workforce growth and favor i just don't think we are uh because the enemy is coming to Sukkot as well. We need to uh, think about trying to get us the capability in order to, to get it. We could get... Let me think. I... Yeah, probably the this outpost right here. Let's grow and grab that. Yep, let's do that. So, Neb Gehesh. We have one to the south, likely to be raided by Hatch. We could get the Shrine of Ra here, because I think we're going to get a bit of that workforce growth for some time. We have one um, to the right, right here, and one to the left. The one to the right. Grabbing that one. That might get might be untouched and I say might no actually oh, wrong or well, actually uh, let me think let me think this is closer to here that might be raided but yeah let's get the outpost over on this side here, close to it, we can get the fort, I think. Let's go for the economic outpost and the Shrine of Ram, probably. Yeah, let's go and grab that and go for the Shrine of Ram. Yeah, that's what we're going for. One pending action, construction available. Yes, we do. We can construct something here, North Sinai. 
But as I said, we want to keep the workforce. So now let's engage in some diplomacy before we are going to war with everyone. We want to build our stockpile of stone. So we want to see which one has the stone in abundant in abundance. And the most friendly one I will carve which out a is legacy. Puto. And he wants a bronze he's interested in bronze and gold, so we can definitely Speak, friend, do a bot and I here. will gladly listen. And I'm going to look for a thousand stone. And then uh, I need to offer something as well. Maybe I could think 50 gold. Okay, a bit of bronze, yeah. That's a bit too much. 300 bronze and 50 gold. I can let that go for a thousand stone. Uh, yeah, confirm. Agreed. And we need to build a stockpile of stone because it's needed to get the buildings done and to repair the outpost that's going to be destroyed. We need to keep that thing, try to keep that thing going. Mightiest of princes. And Seti, you want wood. You want Speak wood. Speak then, friend, if you have something to say. So let's start with the thousand here as well. Let's confirm that. And I forgot to offer again. I can uh, give you additional 10. How much wood do you need? Uh, we are going to get that back rather quickly. So how about 200? And 20, 25, 30. Oh, come on. Thirty and two twenty. I think that's uh, acceptable. Yeah, a bit more gold. You have royal up. Fine, fine, fine. Burning for battle. Ready to spill blood. I fight for Egypt. I will carve out a legacy. But then I don't really, because we are at least then have 4,000 in stone. We could let go a bit more bronze, but because uh, bronze we are actually making a bit, but we are going to be on a deficit very early on. So instead now, uh, let's Let's do none of that. Now, which one is the most friendly one? Battle. You Negotiate. Have your if we form, join your war against Ubat Duat, add that offer. And let's go with a single barter. Abundant in food and stone. Let's go and grab some stone. Another 500. Oh, that's nice. And let's get a, a bit more supply in food. 220, 500. Fine. Very well. I'll join your war for that. No problem. Oh. Next one. For in the no. for Pharaoh's glue. I fight. The ship All are merely puppets. Bay. Um, Hazor. I think we know about them. Yeah, we do. So I actually. I much of your exploit, Ramses. Most doesn't matter impressive. if we join their war. Uh, let's go with 500 here as well. Let's see. Confirm. And... Yeah, fill it up with a bit more food. Victory for Over 5,000 stone now. We are uh, starting to get somewhere. So, Bay, where are you? I speak. People lost. Who got it? I will never back down. Ashkelon, we are going to be at war with you very soon. Your enemy is uh, 
Urushalim, which is your neighbor. Oh, let's There's negotiate. Canaanite blood on your hands, Ramses. It will not be forgotten. Uh, yep, I can understand that, but at the same time, I really don't care. I'm gonna get below 100 to uh, join this war. 70 stone for joining a war. That's better than nothing, right? That makes sense. And. Ashkelon. Saka. We have Sachem. Megiddo. I fight from board. All will remember. Or only war with down. us. And we are war with you. I Habilu. stand strong. So that's it. That's it, what we can do. So now then, let's start declaring some wars. Form. Well, that's a formidable list with enemies and wars now, right? Nice stuff. And it was said that it was not wise to declare war on Mernepta early on. What that means? Uh, we'll just have to find out, I guess. Our reports, let's get rid of these. Uh, uh, we did rank him up. New victory objectives, fine, because we know about a bit more about the, what homelands to conquer. And that's what we can do this turn. We are Blessed recruiting with him. Let's proceed. And instantly we see. Instantly. This is expected. This exactly this in happened control. in the pre-playthrough as well. Um, outpost demolished the art construction complete demol um, water well and uh, demolition complete the water cutting yard. No one and I guess they are going to destroy this, which is the Shrine of Ra, or at least damage it. We have this one in Nekel. We started building the Egyptian trading outpost right here. So what do we want? Do we want to even go for the economic outpost here as well that we could actually do? To reduce the upkeep and but production all resources plus 10%. Or do we actually want to go with the Egyptian port to get some soldiers up? No, we're actually going with Egyptian trading post. Let's go with that to try to boost the economy even further. Destiny bound. We are building here in Sukkot. Now Fate let's favors me. proceed to Asad. Chosen of Ra. Strike hard. Ah, oh, well, this is very nice, right? How about that? Uh, yep, we can actually... We get the decisive by auto resolving. So we can do that. Glory is mine. And... But I got me worried. But no. We didn't lose too many of the Medjay swordsmen. All in all, 179 men. We get a bit of bronze food. And more experience, of course. And occupy it. Establish order. And that completes um, the, gods have blessed the sacred me. land of Sinai. And we destroy our first faction, which is Sukkot. Which is, of course, have to be expected. We need to repair it uh, in order to get it going very quickly we could get the fishing grounds as well but it's a good amount of food but you know really just quiet. so what are we facing here Caught in Ashkelon again. 9 I plus oh, 13 you. units that could prove difficult Greatness awaits. we could get two more and, Go and I guess else. they were I guess I guess Ramesses I guess they the will. My army will be elite. They will recruit more, but we might find an opportunity. So let's go with. Let the ranks swell. Yeah, let the ranks swell. One, 
and one, one Meiji swordman and one Meiji charger. You can pay for the upkeep in bronze. The food is going to be on a deficit from now on. We also ranked up with him yet again. So continue to reducing that upkeep. We get... Oh, that's great. Recruitment ledger. Workforce cost minus two to the region. Building type bad recruitment. But still, that should benefit us quite a quite a bit, actually. Oh well, cool. Four pending action. Yes, we want to get Neb Gehesh up as well to the fourth tier here, but we need to prioritizing getting Sukkot and Ashati first up to the second tier building so sati is first we are, do have five here you know what let's actually get the fishing ground i think we can afford that but Asati is going to be under, under heavy pressure to say the least uh, but we can as we have united north sinai province we can now choose a commandment and we are going to go with the workforce growth plus 10 Food minus 10%, not good. We can't do this for too many turns because food is going to be on a deficit, but we have a bit of a buffer. We're going to be in a lot of fights, so we should be fine regardless. But let the laborers rest, grow that workforce. And for the outpost to the west of Asati, that's the most protected one. So that we're going for the military fort and to reduce that upkeep for units stationed in the fort by 50%. We are going to be needing it because uh, as I said, Asati, I'm thinking this as the rock that's going to break the water flowing in and it's going to come in a lot of water. And here closest to the border, that's the one going to pieces very quickly. Workforce growth, we can go for the Shrine of Ra temporarily at least to get a bit of that workforce. If all goes correctly, it should be fine for a tiny bit. Let's go and grab that. And to the south here, we are going to get the other one, Egyptian outpost to get those guys. And down here in Nikel temporarily, we are going to recruit a general. So whom do we want? We want uh, no one with upkeep reduction. A uh, good replenishment rate on Adiamep though. So probably going for him. Regarding the cost, it does not matter. Let's get Proud him son of in Nikel. Him alongside those six units. We should be able to beat Go these guys. Else. At least one on one. Both of them, I not so the sure, but we'll see. For Egypt. For Egypt. Because it's going to take us some time before we get Ramses here. Because I'm still having the ambition to go and sack Ashkelon and ripe the rewards for doing so. Right then. I think we are ready to end the turn, but I'm just a bit nervous to forget about something. Boundless ambition. Yep, let's let's do it. Well they destroyed this for us get the trading post oh well so let's see what the no next move is be. and we'll also Blessed see by the gods. if we can take this down All right guys i want to thank you very much for watching hope you enjoyed this first episode once again leave that like if you did subscribe if you haven't done that already uh, appreciate you all until next one have a good one